every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. If you're living in a shack, you have no perspective, no job, you have no source of income. And to add on the problem, you are depending on others. You're so depressed. Well, you have just tuned in the right channel because here we are going to show to you that faith can open doors. Faith can transform your life. My name is Nobuntu Sani. My life before I came to the spiritual treatment, it was very, very bad. I was labeled an attitude girl. I was very poor. My family was poor. We were living in a shack. We actually, when it rains, we had to actually put plastic on our beds so that we cover our blankets with plastic so that the rain doesn't actually go into our blankets and wet them. That's how bad it was. My brothers, all of them, three of them, weren't working. They were alcoholic. My, my sister was also in a job that was not stable. So the person that was actually literally looking after was my mother, who was also a domestic worker, which also didn't get much of an income. I've always been invited at the church every day whenever I pass here to go to work, um, but I always ignored it. Then there was a time whereby I had um, a problem at work where they actually wanted to put a disciplinary action on me. I was very devastated in that form that I thought of one thing, who can actually help me? Because now I didn't have anybody to talk to. So I paused here, that is whereby I went into the church and I learned the movements of faith, I learned how to pray, I learned that actually God does exist. After that, um, my life has become a blessing because then I actually got that promotion, that is whereby I was able to buy a house, I was able to buy a car, I am living a prosperous life. My children, my child is actually in a wonderful school. Um, I'm healed as well. I've never been to the doctors anymore. And I carry on with my faith. And I've been carrying on with my prayer until today. Jesus is alive. And Jesus heals. And Jesus is there for anyone who seeks him. I would like to invite you to do the following, to close your eyes, regardless of, what, of whether you're holding a glass of water or not. That doesn't matter. If you want to pray holding the water, it's fine. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You are going to say, my God, if you exist, I want a sign. I want to see right now because I don't take this life anymore. Let us talk to him. Close your eyes. My father, look at this person, this poor creature. And there are people praying from their mansions, a, a bedroom that is huge, bigger than a house. Yet she's there on her knees crying, sobbing, because although she has a lot of money, she doesn't have the love of her husband. And there are also men like these who have been despised by their wife. His wife looked at him and said, you are not a man, you are garbage, and things like that. Therefore, I ask my Lord that in this very moment you touch this person with peace. And when they open their eyes, the depression, the, the the pain inside of them will live. I determine, in the name of Jesus, amen. Well, he is alive, and I believe that God has touched already your life. And talking about being alive, be ready, because this coming Good Friday, we are going to be in Ellis Park Stadium in a very special event, which we believe will change your life. Until tomorrow, and God bless you. Workers Prayer.